Have you ever been in a motorway service station and seen rows of lorries all parked up together? Or have you ever driven down a busy road passing lorry after lorry and wondered what might be on the inside? For some lorries, it might be obvious. You can see what is on the inside by looking at the outside. Here is one that gives a pretty good clue. It's a lorry that is owned by Bannister Transport. They're based in Evesham and they have daily UK and European deliveries. And there's a pretty good chance the lorry might be carrying fruit and veg. But then there are lorries that don't tell you anything. They just look like any other lorry traveling up and down the motorway each day. Where are they going? Where have they come from? What are they carrying? Indeed, are they actually carrying anything? They might have just completed their deliveries for the day. From looking at the outside of the lorry, we may have no idea what is on the inside. To find out, we would have to follow it to its destination and wait for the doors to be opened. Only then would we see what treasures lay within. So where does this fit in for us today? Imagine your church as a lorry. It's set out on the journey of life. What's on the inside? No one knows unless you open the door and come inside. Perhaps the church is empty, just like the lorry that's just completed its delivery. Many people might only go into a church when it is empty. It's treated more like a tourist destination. The architecture is more important than what happens on the inside. And perhaps people come to weddings and funerals for the occasion they represent, but without knowing anything else about what happens inside a church. It's like when you see a lorry pulled up at a village fete that has been turned into a stage for the day, or the lorry that has been decorated ready for a carnival, one-off events that in many ways disguise the real use of the lorry. This week, we want to find out what is on the inside of our churches, what treasures lay within. And this is not just about the fabric of the church. I know we could have many debates about the pews, the pulpit, the screen, the altar. But this week is about the people, the churchmanship, the worship, the prayer life. Let's follow the lorry to its destination and see what lies within our church buildings.